I think that's it, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, remember you got to just be great. Put on, on for, for your city, city for your state. state. <laughs> yeah, that's it, cuz. Welcome to Soft Launch episode 44. Yeah. And your mom's a whore. <laughs> And we're here, we're having fun, we're giving you some more. Welcome to Soft Launch. I am JC Mendoza. I am Samantha Santos. And we are the Softies coming coming at you live and direct, giving you our takes and, 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 and shakes and bakes and all of that stuff. Yeah. We want to get right into this episode because the Knicks playing about an hour. Yeah and, yeah. and mommy and daddy got to watch it because the city. <laughs> the safety, only way they win. Yeah. The and, city is on our backs. Yeah, city's <laughs> on our backs. And that Brunson jersey is fucking calling to me like the Green Goblin mask from Spider-Man. Yeah. Samantha has no idea what I'm talking about because she lives yeah. in a referenceless I'm world. fucking lost. <laughs> but you guys aren't lost you're in the right place welcome yes. to soft launch we're gonna get right underway with our first segment one, one thing, thing about, about we and one thing about me i love your energy already i feel I great to say the same thing I'm like you, you are in a great mood and so are you you know what i'm saying i know we're in a good mood because before we started getting ready samantha made sure to play some music because yeah. if music isn't playing I'm in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's for the pod. I'm doing it for the for the viewers yeah, and the yeah. listeners. Yeah, we're we're method acting our entire relationship yeah. and trying to stay happy just to give a good product. Yeah, yeah. That's um, all that's you can also tell I'm in a great mood because I'm just comfy, cozy. Yeah, yeah. I just got my legs crossed on the. I'm just comfy today. And you should be. I don't know why you sometimes you you put jeans on in the house. I really don't understand why you do that. For yeah, the pod. well, because you don't know what clip is going to go viral. Yeah, you just want to look good. I always look good, and yeah. so do you, boo. I know you do. I wasn't talking about you, but you look good right now. Yeah, but you know, I don't. I was sometimes say I wanna... another word to me. You're gonna get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it is. It's also, um, we recorded a day later than we usually do because yeah. yesterday, Samantha and I, both just not feeling it. Just not feeling like yeah, recording. Yeah, I had two I had two margaritas on Sunday and I was <laughs> fucked up. I was so out of it yesterday. My stomach was killing me. I was on the verge of vomit all day. Yeah, which, you know, you asked for the second one. I couldn't believe it. I yeah. was like, I ain't never seen you act like this before. I we were in good ever. company. Shout yeah. out to Maha Shout and out Talent. Maha and Talent, the ghost. We had such a good time on Sunday. Um, how does a little comedy double date? Yeah. We had a little comedy double date, and uh, yeah, and then I was like, I'm having a good time and have another, yeah. which I knew I was gonna regret. Yeah, I don't, I knew you were gonna regret it too, but I thought it was fun. Yeah, yeah. So fuck it, we had a good time. Got home, had a little bit of, had a little bit of okay. late evening delight. <laughs> Shout out to the margaritas. JC is. A, is a 31 year old man yes. that when it comes to sex you are still a 16 year old boy yeah. you just gotta tell everybody that everybody's gotta know it's it's yeah a, guess who got their dick sucked yeah. no big deal look at I hit that all the time yo she fucking she, she loves right. me yeah oh yeah I thought you were gonna say something. I crazy. was gonna say something yeah, worse, yeah. but then I cleaned it up because I gotta edit this and get it out in six hours. Yeah, but we're here. We're having a good and, time. And that's only if the Knicks win. Because if they don't, you're gonna just be in feed. Yeah, if this is just gonna come out a day late if the Knicks <laughs> don't win. But don't worry, we don't gotta that's, worry about yeah. that because we're gonna have our jerseys on. We're gonna be wearing the right clothes. We're in the right place. Everything's gonna go great. Yes. But uh, one thing about us, we had a great comedy filled weekend that started on Friday, where Samantha and I took our talents down to Atlantic City. Yes. And visited the Atlantic City Comedy Club uh, for a showcase show. And uh, it was a time. A time it was, was had. a time. And if you think we went to Atlantic City and I didn't Zillow condos in Atlantic City, you got nothing coming. <laughs> you fucking sick woman. I love did you it. See something? You love Atlantic City? You love? I mean, the area surround. Did you know? Like, there was like a point where we were like going. We were on some road, and it was just like ocean. And we were. Ugh, it was, I love it. You love that. I, it's the Jersey Shore. Yeah, it is, but it's like it's not even the Jersey it's Shore. It's the tip of the Jersey. It's Shore. technically the Jersey Shore, but in reality, it doesn't no, feel Jersey like the Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is huge. It's the shore of New Jersey, but it's not the Jersey Shore. Does that no, make sense? No, but they, uh, Atlantic City has a boardwalk with rides. Yeah. No, it's it is the Jersey Shore. It's just a different part. Like it's been, you know, it was built up and then it crashed, yeah. and now it's you know it's okay. It's on. It's it's doing something. Yeah. It's, it 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 was fine. It it didn't feel great in the in the Tropicana where we were at. Like. The, the vibe, I don't like a vibe of a big casino hotel. I don't like that vibe. It was, I felt like we were on a cruise. Yeah, we were on a stationary cruise. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. I never, I don't like Atlantic City unless I'm on the beach. Yeah. I don't care because what am I doing in a casino? I know. I feel like everybody in a casino is ugly. 
and old. Does that make I feel, sense? No, I, they're not ugly, but I feel like they are. Well, not pretty. They're from flyover states. It yeah. feels like everybody like is. You know what I mean? They're it's from just, places that we would never go if we didn't do comedy. Yeah, they're but from I feel places, like everybody there should go to a comedy show. Yeah, they're they from, could really enjoy yeah, it. You definitely would. They're from places that I wouldn't even think to respect the people from there unless I needed their hard-earned taxpaying dollars when I go to their states to perform yeah. in the ho- hopefully near future. Yeah, everyone we're performing for on Friday at uh, New York Comedy Atlantic City felt like. I knew who they were going to vote for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and uh, it felt like they they didn't agree with the election of the last result. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It except, felt like, except for the black couple in the front, the only black people to show. Yeah, yeah, it felt like it felt like uh, they wanted to start laughing, but they wanted to stop the steal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> felt like they were really thankful this wasn't on January sixth. Yeah, yeah, but then the only two comics who were on the show that were probably Republican. Both tanked it. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Everything no. was fun. We were just having a good time. The comics yeah. were great because yeah. everybody. No, they they were. Only we were. They stunk. <laughs> uh, they didn't no. have their. They didn't do their best performance. Yeah. Great people though. We had a good yeah. time. And just remember that JC is just breezing over this because he doesn't want to have to edit anything out. <laughs> but the truth is in between the lines. <laughs> In between the lines, yeah, it was it was fun. It was a fun time. Uh, each of us did twenty minutes, uh, and we were the only ones that did twenty minutes because the guy that went first did thirty. Yeah, actually, I'm the only person that did twenty minutes because you went over by four minutes. I went over by two. No, I did twenty two. Oh. I did twenty two and change. Okay, and I was the difference. Crucial difference is I was killing. Yes, yeah. as much for the, as room, for the for room for the room for the room. No, the room. we like. I feel like. They yeah. were probably like, Jesus Christ, what are we yeah, doing the here? First and hour thank that they God, saw once I got up there, then they were like, oh. And then JC went last and they were like, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the show started off the first two people, you know. Rough. And then the last two, I feel like they were like, oh, yeah, thank God. We brought it home and I just can't wait to go on the road with just you for our shows because yeah. I feel like, you know, we're, we're just going to cut out the middleman of having to struggle for an hour before you get yeah. entertained. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but it's, it's no shade. It's just, you know, they'll tell you that if yeah. they were on the show, they would tell you that. Well, one of them definitely would. <laughs> But the other guy, he's just having a great time. He's really nice time. guy. And honestly, it was nice. It was a really nice little room that we went to yeah. down in AC. The food was good. They treated us nice. They paid us promptly, yeah. which, which we love. And um, everybody well, was Well, they paid sport. you promptly. They didn't pay you Well, yet? because, well, what we happened was shit up. I didn't set my shit up. So Candy texted me and said, can I sell you? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Oh, and then okay. I set you up the, I said the, I forgot, because I was on a call. That yeah. was four hours this morning. Yeah, because I, uh, yeah, I definitely, um, whatchamacallit, I set my thing up as soon as I got it. Yeah. I got paid before I went on, which I fucking love when that yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because it's not a big deal, but it does make a psychological difference for a small difference. Yeah. But when I'm already paid for the set that I'm about to do, I am fully free and like, I've already been, oh, I've been paid. paid. I've been paid for this. You guys are losing if you don't want to have fun because <laughs> I'm I have been paid well, as opposed to you know sometimes when I'm working on McDougal at the pair of the shop oh. when I'm gonna be paid in like six months I'm like well this is fucking annoying well now. it is really nice sometimes like I'll totally forget that I'm even and then I just get a gazelle I mean yeah. it is only for ten dollars but I'll be like oh Oh yeah, whatever. and then they'll be like, "Yeah, this is this is for December 2023." <laughs> yeah, and it's like I'm a different person than I was back yeah. then. You know, I've already paid tax on the money that I didn't receive, but yeah, but uh, we we had fun on AC. It was a fucking nightmare drive down oh because it was so God. long. But a quick drive back up, and honestly, a, a nice little Friday, couple hundred bucks in the pocket, couple minutes done on the stage. Can't complain. Saturday came around, and make no mistake, the soft launch live show was an absolute banger, an absolute heater. It was so much fun. Shout out to everybody that came out to the stand and saw us at Soft Launch. Shout out to to Venetia. Yeah. Shout out to her man Christian. Yes. Shout out to Christian. Who else came through that we know? Shout out to Maha and her parents. Yeah. Son? Real oh big my shout God. out. Second shout time. out to all of them. Bro. Shout out to the white woman with the dreadlocks in the front row that came to another one of our shows. I don't know if you're listening. Yeah. Or what is going on? But we wanted to blow your spot up because you came to our show with another man. She was at our first show. Yeah. And she was with another man, and then she came and sat in the same seat with yeah. a different dude and normally who, make no mistake also we know who we voted for yeah because he looked just like the dude from the first one that's why i couldn't tell there's a difference but make no mistake she has a type yeah and then i could tell you weren't sure because you asked her you were like hey are you been here before and then you look at the guy like have you been here and he was like no and then i was like Ugh. good yeah yeah no she yeah that was super weird they should have they, they looked like they should have been in atlantic city to see us they looked like they were at the wrong show but uh, yeah, I, I don't know who she is or if she listens to the pod or she, she has just likes to. the live show. But uh, if you're a white woman with blue dreadlocks, yes, thank you. I thank guess thank you so much. <laughs> comment on the pod. Yeah, comment on the pod. Let us know Let who us you know are. Let us know it's you because you're awesome. You've yeah. come to two live shows and you're 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 you sat in the same exact seat. Yeah, so yeah. you have a routine, <laughs> and we're a part of it, and we appreciate that. Yeah, we want you to bring your next date there because I 
something's gonna work out with this guy. <laughs> just something about his something. something about his soul patch not connecting yeah. to his sideburns. That's something about his soul patch going down to his rib cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy looks like a mess. Unless he's your man and we love him now. Yeah, I Unless don't. You know- I want better for my girl. <laughs> yeah. So we had some characters at the live show, but we had mad fun. Uh we have a treat because the entire live show was recorded. We were mic'd up and we will be putting it on our Patreon yes. behind a paywall like we do all of our live shows so you can go to www.patreon.com slash soft launch and see the entire live show not the entire live show but every time Samantha and I were on stage together you can see that and we had less comics so we did a lot more time we mm-hmm. had a lot more fun and it's really what I can confidently say was uh, uh, the best live show yet I think yeah yeah and I know we say that every time we do say that every time but we really are getting into a yeah. groove um, and like I feel like we've always had a good groove but like learning what works live what doesn't and yeah. all that stuff and kind of like the more we do it the easier it becomes and we bounce off each other better yeah. I feel like um, we talk over each other less it's yeah. just it's so smooth and like I I I can't. You guys have to come to a live. Yeah, show it's a come. real special product because what we do here on the pod is obviously so much fun and what we think is very special. But you're getting a whole different feel when you mm-hmm. come to see us live. So we highly recommend you do that. We'll post the link to our next soft launch show once we get it. We may be taking May off because Samantha and I are looking to go on vacation for Memorial Day weekend, yeah. which would be really fun and sweet. But once we get that day for that next show, we'll let you guys know. But in the meantime, definitely go to Patreon, become a super softy five dollars a month, get a deal. Yeah. And uh, we had a great time on Saturday at Soft Launch. Shout out to all the comics that did it and then uh, we also ended the night together at a show at the grizzly pair the and grizzly pair we were in the midnight that uh, for as good as soft launch was the only sound that i could use to describe what the what it felt like being on stage at midnight at the grizzly pair is is this <laughs> It was fucking terrifying. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It was yeah. a fuck. It was because you see thirty people in a show. And you're like, oh, this is gonna be great, especially yeah. for midnight. But oof, make no mistake, I struggled. Yeah, I just had a great set. Yeah, Samantha's just better at comedy no, than me. I wasn't great, but it was. I was. Pl- I had my. It, the thing is that the bar was on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because they were horrible, they were and then really they bad. ended up liking me. Yeah, and I think it's because they couldn't be beaten down more. Yeah. than they were by JC. Yeah. I mean, if he literally had something to hit them with, he would have done it. Yeah, honestly, guys, I, I, I wish I would have. I wish I would have recorded it so I can post it for you guys because I would be burning no material, and you'd just be <laughs> seeing how funny it was. Uh, it was so bad. Like when you see me, right? I have a, a set of jokes that I do. And when you hear me do jokes related to my time as a teacher, yeah. know that I'm trying very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that me. it isn't going as well as he wanted it to go. Yeah, or or I feel like I'm in a corner. I just want I want the people who are listening to these jokes to like me very badly if I'm doing those jokes. Um, so I came out with them because I saw how they were acting with our host, Chase DeRusso, who is one of the best hosts in New York mm-hmm, City. He's mm-hmm. so much fun. Shout out to Chase DeRusso. And they just were giving Chase nothing. And then I got up there and I tried like three punchlines of what I felt like is my tried and true universal material it's not my favorite material to do but i feel like i it, i know what it does and they just gave me nothing yeah it was it wasn't like a couple of laughs nothing it was radio silence, silence. complete silence which i know something about because i did a show like that before i met you at the pair <sighs> on saturday yeah. and i i was getting upset yeah anything that's ever been touched by the grizzly pair just fucking stunk on Saturday. yeah because it was somebody who used to run the grizzly yeah, pair so Kenny Moore. he used to run here he's running another show yeah, yeah. um but uh, yeah, it was it was not a great show at the yeah. pair. They were, I mean, you're almost never going to have a good show at midnight. Yeah, that's true. And especially unless, on, unless McDo- the, on McDougal Street. Unless you're it, at the Comedy Cellar, and even then I hear those midnight. No, talk. I heard they're I can, really, really like I can, rowdy. I they're tough, yeah. Um, no, because it was like there was like a, a 21st birthday in the front. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Nobody wants to do comedy for those uh, people. Somebody put it, somebody uh, that I talked to put it in ways like, nobody at that show woke up and knew they were going to that show. Yeah. And Absolutely. that does make a difference. That makes, makes a, a huge, huge difference. difference. So it was just weird. And uh, I'll let you know the highlights of that set were two things that I did. Uh, number one, I uh, tied the mic cord around my neck and threatened to kill myself. Yeah, That got a pop. And then uh, once I tried to do jokes again, I said, you know what? You guys are, are silent and I understand that. I'm going to be silent and we'll see who cracks first. And I stood in silence yeah, on a did. stage with a microphone in my hand, just looking at the crowd for 30 seconds. Yeah. And then they started laughing and that got a bigger pop than anything I did with my mouth. <laughs> and that was crazy. I got the light and I, the light is when you have to wrap up your set, you know, yeah. you have a minute. And I spent my last minute not even making a joke, just pleading with them to be better for the rest of the show. Yeah. And I got a huge ovation. Yeah. And that was and it. And they actually were, they listened. And and that makes me happy. I feel like I, I died for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Then we had Brownish on Sunday, and that was fine. I hosted it. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Shout out to everybody. I have to download that set. I feel like I might have some Oh, absolutely. It's going to be in your folder. We're going to download it. Um, And that was a fun show, and we're going to tell you all about that next week on Patreon. (laughs) Just going to let a couple things pass by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we got some things to talk about. Got some things to talk about. We're really... We got somebody to talk about. I know it feels like we're just engagement farming in our podcast to get you guys Mm -hmm. to sign up for the Patreon, but we will talk about it on the Patreon. Yeah. You're going to want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Because Turn if off you, the sound of your phone. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't want to hear it, then uh, you're just a a dirty, ugly bitch, <laughs> <laughs> and and let that be a, a, a fucking a teaser for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had a good brownish show on on uh, on Sunday, and then on Monday we what did we do Monday? I don't Yesterday. know. We don't have to tell them everything we've done. Yeah, but that's a, that's the fun of the pod. Right. We had a bunch of matcha. What else we get? Uh, a Monday? Yeah. That was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. We went for a walk to the to Battery Park. Oh, oh yeah. Then we went to a Malaysian restaurant. Oh my god, bro. And we ate so good for $30. I feel like by the way, Malaysia is like the most lazily named country in Asia. You what? just put Mal before Asia. It's already Asia. You just making it Malaysia. Let me just There's a Y it. in it. Yeah, but it's like I didn't say the way it was spelled, it's just the name. It's just named after the continent. I never even thought about that. Well, you know what? I feel like, oh, you call me Andrew Ginsberg. I'm fucking bombing on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying in. He, I love that. He's a great guy, but he bombed. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal. We have to talk um, about it. Yeah. Couldn't bomb worse than <laughs> And you're gonna have to go to the Patreon. Yeah, to go Thank to you the for for refraining. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that was uh, you would have been speaking with no facts. Yeah, <laughs> and- I don't know. It's just what the streets were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and 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 it might have smelled bad because sometimes when people take a shower, they use no soap. <laughs> Lilia, you went to stand. All right. Um. That was yeah. That's yeah, that's, that's very that's funny. That's just the summer, just a summary of our weekend. What it is? Just the only way our lives can be, and yeah. we're having fun. And uh, what else? Do you have a? Do you have an, an, a little, 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 little? You have another one thing about me that you wanted to, to get off yes, your chest. Yes, I did. Um, and it was just right before this pod. I was like, I had nothing to say for my one thing, and then yeah. I was like, oh, let me, because if anybody emails me mm-hmm. at four fifty nine, this is for work. Yeah, mm-hmm. at fifty nine seconds. I mean, the chances of me responding to you. Are zero. zero, unless it is something that I can, as per my email, back mm. to. Because I always have time to be petty. Yeah, and it was like today I got an email at five oh two for by chance I read it, and I was like, oh, yeah, you will not. Yeah, um, and I had a I, I wrote three emails after five o'clock just back and forth. As soon as she wrote back, and then she was like, I think I'm going crazy. Oh, somebody had you fucked up. She had me absolutely... She's been having me fucked up. Oh, this is a recurring problem. She, well, to be honest, she has just no idea what she's doing. She's, like, hiring. She has no idea what she's doing. Um, and But she... Like, I I was like, am I bugging? Like, yeah. with the way she's answering? And then this guy I work with was like, I don't like the way she's talking. I'm like, yeah. okay, me either. Well, give me an example of a thing that she said that... She's like, just doing things. Like, I sent her the process of how to hire people, and she keeps yeah. going around us to speak to... Like uh-huh. um, uh, recruiting agencies behind, like, and we're the people that talk yeah, to them. To, to make it look like you guys don't know what you're doing. No, just to cut us out. And it's yeah. like, that's our job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you include us, you have to do less work. Yeah. So it's just like she keeps doing that. And it's like, you know, you don't ever want these, it to look like they we're not needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. you know. She's fucking up the protocol. Yeah. And we sent, like, first David sent her, this guy worked with David sent her, like, oh, I, I think you don't know how this this the, this process goes. Yeah. Here is this slide. Yeah. And then she did it again. And then David called me. He's like, can you, we definitely told her how to do this. I'm like, yeah. no, no, yeah. We sent her the link. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you're going to have to tell her again. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then I, like, I wrote this thing really nice, but like stern. Stur- firm. Yeah, and then she did it again. No, you had no. You put no exclamation points in that email. No, there were none. Exactly, it was all yeah. periods. It yeah. was all periods. Which and is different. The only time I did it was thanks at the yeah. end. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Like, hey, don't ever do that again. Here's the link. Uh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> memorize it, understand it. Thank you. Thank you. And then she did it again. Then today she was writing, and I just had to be like, actually, no, I you you know, it was just this thing. And then she finally was like, I'm going crazy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Should have led with that. Yeah, and then I uh, yeah, so it's fine. But I was like, uh, I will find time. So like, we were supposed to record this pop probably like thirty minutes before yeah, we were yeah, supposed yeah. to, and I was like, I'm a little busy. Yeah, Samantha's not going to uh, use her personal time to do anything at work. But if there's something that happens at work that she's taking personally, <laughs> yeah, I have unlimited time. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. Yeah, this is for free. Yeah, I'm clocking in for overtime. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm clocked out. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's on me. This one's on me, guys. I got this. Yeah, don't worry. I'm a company man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this bitch out of my company, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't fucking play with me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so I just, I was like, that's funny because I've done that a million times. Yeah. Like in my old job, I mean, 9 p.m. Yeah. I'm writing... If I get Angry an email emails. with an, oh, when I used to get tenants, because I used to run buildings, yeah. if anyone doesn't know, so tenants would write to me, and it wasn't, I wasn't a slumlord, these were people that were paying a, it was a beautiful building. Top dollar, top dollar, Top rich dollar, people. and it was people that, that thought they were paying $5,000 for a one bedroom, so they didn't have to walk from their apartment to the, train. the trash chute. Yeah. No, oh. to the trash chute. They just put the garbage outside their door. Oh. And then- I don't know why. I don't yeah. know where the fuck you... I don't know if you thought this was like room service, yeah. but this is... I've never heard of anything like that. And they just put their garbage outside and then we'd get an email like, hey, we're getting roaches. Yeah. You left your garbage out all night. And then... Or they would just leave their takeout. Instead of... I'm t talking about the garbage room was no more than 100 feet yeah, away. And they just couldn't And they would it. just put like... Like if they got seamless, they'd yeah. leave like their containers open in the hallway. Yeah. You have roaches because you're courting them. Yeah. And then they're like, uh, I thought this was a luxury building. Yeah. And like, I don't know why I'm getting roaches. And I'm like, welcome to New York. It doesn't matter if you're building, if you're paying $3 million or, or $300. $300 yeah. There's you're gonna be roaches. roaches if you have stuff out. Yeah, good. roaches, roaches are just be like, They're like, oh, I can't afford to be here? Yeah. Like they walk in, they're like, oh, not a white refrigerator. They don't yeah. do that. You're, you're liberal, you think you're a socialist. These roaches are actual communists. They don't care yeah. what money you have, yeah. what background Everyone's you come equal. from. They are indiscriminate and yeah. they're going to Come up in your crib, whether you live in a good neighborhood, bad neighborhood, nice apartment, yeah, shitty they apartment. they don't care. They don't care. So I would have things. And they Their write, rent is fixed. Yeah, then they would write me emails about it. Like, you know, like on a Saturday, like I got a roach and I'm paying this attorney, so I'm not paying my rent next month. Yeah. And I would be like, <laughs> and I would literally open the laptop, go in. Yeah, make do sure you feel it, like, like people used to email you after hours because they didn't think you'd respond? No, I think that, you know, a lot of stuff happens, you know, yeah. like off time. It's and like, you know, you're living, okay. they were just writing an email and then right. I would always get back to them. Um, yeah, yeah. So if you ever want to ensure that Samantha is going above and beyond for whatever company that you work for, that she's also working for, just make somebody disrespect her and she will put her time in. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's so funny because I feel like I do the same thing and I'm sure you do too. When we get negative comments as opposed to oh, positive oh, comments, I'm still if you want to ensure me. that I'm going to respond, respond, say something nasty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say something nasty back. Yeah. Abs oh, absolutely. Or I'm just going to clown you. Yeah. So I'm still, I was just, I just responded today to somebody that they keep getting all these fucking, these these Jesus freaks that are commenting on my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're give, sending me Bible verses. It's funny. It could be a million people like, keep going. Yeah, We yeah. love you. I don't care. We like, support you unconditionally. We're like, fucking losers have no taste. You're a fucking bitch. This isn't funny. This motherfucker gets it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go on. I'll be, I'll be four years deep in your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. I've gone so far back and forth with people. There was one guy who left a negative comment. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on the pod, but uh, I'm just going to remind everybody. One time somebody left me a nasty comment on a video. I went to their page. I went to the link in their bio and they were a director for a short film. That's right. I watched the whole film and I gave them a detailed criticism <laughs> underneath uh, one of their Instagram posts. I don't care. I have time. Motherfuckers think that I'm busy. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I know. People are like, wow. Like, I love when people comment. My favorite yeah. is somebody who will comment on my video. Yeah. And then when I respond, they're like, you must be a loser. You have nothing but time. Motherfucker, you started it. You commented on my, on my thing. video. I'm I a, have to be here. I got yeah. notified. I'm like, I got, I get notified this, and it's, it's my, it's, I, I, I I'm not. Well, shut up. Mm. There's also this thing happening right now on social media where people are so disconnected. Yeah. And I don't know if it's there's so many pages that repost videos yeah. that people don't know they're commenting on the on person's post. The person's post. Yeah. Do you many times people comment on my things and be like, she's actually this and she I'm like, who the fuck are you talking Motherfucker, to? Motherfucker, I'm right here. Why are you talking like I can't hear yeah, you? Yeah. I'm like, I hear you. A acknowledge me. Yeah. It's yeah. this weird like thing yeah, where I feel like that's, that's how TikTok disconnected yeah, yeah. we are yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. People don't think that people don't realize that people that they're are posting talking, their own content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of insane. Yeah, that is the world though. That's the world that we live in. This shit is crazy, it's yeah. crazy. It's, 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 it's a lot. But what are you gonna do? Yeah. You and also, I do want to say Go one more it. thing that yes. annoys me um, no, no, no. about about fucking trolls. Um, I think the corniest people, whether you're a troll or a regular person, are the people that think a, think a good comeback is correcting your grammar. Yeah. It's such a nerd. I want to put your head down a toilet and flush it. That's what it makes me when people do that. I'm like, oh, wow. I have a typo on Instagram. Who gives a shit? What are you? What? What is this? Are you my English literature teacher? Get a fucking life. You're such a cornball. You're a fucking nerd. I want to put you in a locker. 
I want to lock you in a locker. Yeah, get locked. Oh up. my god, yeah. I hate, nothing turns me into like a '90s bully more than somebody Can that's I, like, uh, "Does you mean your?" Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I you meant. You know what I meant. I also wrote, please, PLS, are yeah. you going to say something about that? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I've seen people go as far as, like, actually, a comma's not used there, a comma, not to me, but to somebody yeah. else, And because you know I love to live in the comments. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, you really think you did something? It's such it's such nerd behavior, and people really think they're, I've seen people I know and yeah. respect do that, and I'm like, don't. Yeah. You're... Someone yeah. will say something like, and, and absolutely pack them up. Yeah. And then they're, they just write back with the asterisk, your yeah whoa i mean what what do you think people are gonna do get up and start clapping it's like that guy that we see on tiktok that it's the, the guy that, that he makes the things where people are clapping for him or whatever oh yeah, like, yeah yeah he's like, <laughs> yeah oh he could smell so good thanks papa yeah, yeah. Like, i don't drink coffee wow yeah. i would die without coffee how yeah, do you yeah, do yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. and th that's how i feel like people who correct grammar yeah they think everyone's like wow this motherfucker must have a phd or yeah. something yeah, yeah, yeah. no one gives a fuck yeah it's TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And all of that's true. And uh, that's how you know Samantha and I don't spell so good. Because <laughs> that's where that comes from. There, there's, you got some, you know what I love you for? You got so much passion yeah, no, 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 about no. really small things. Oh, 100%. Don't get me started on the new trend that's happening. <laughs> What's Let, the future? You, I bet y'all won't show your real personality on here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, You're the corniest dude. people. Yeah. You know, one thing that I realized about. I hate it so much. One thing that I realized about you having a big heart it doesn't come at a, a zero drawback. No, no, no. Thing. everything affects everything, me. Everything, <laughs> everything affects you deeply. So where you feel really positive, you are, you have so much hate. Oh in my! You. No, no, no! I really do. Yeah, and I'm realizing it like right now in live time. You're, if we ever watch that part back, you're just gonna see me, my eyes getting wet. I'm like, <laughs> there's so much rage in you. No, no, no! That, that, to quote Sheena, I felt so much rage. <laughs> yeah, I. I um I, I I get so mad at things because yeah, I'm get just really into it. Too. I, I just cannot with people who are not self aware. I'm yeah. like, you think this is, you think this is cool? Yeah. I don't, I can't. The amount of people I've seen, I, it made me want to. I, I I hit a couple people. Yeah. For me, this is my real personality. Yeah. Yeah. Watch me pour shots. Well, you what? always have more anger than I think you're gonna have about. Oh something. yeah. Like when I think you're nearing the end. I, I I very quickly realized that I have I've yet scratched the surface of your anger on this topic. Oh yeah, yeah. It always it always catches me off guard. <laughs> I'm never properly prepared for how angry you're going to be. It's not for a, how long. Oh, it, I get gonna, so mad. No, no, no. It does I know. not annoy you when it, people correct grammar. Yeah, I don't love it. I used to hate it when it happened to me, like in school. It made me not want to write. I so oh, I don't like, like it. your teacher. No, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm I'm just saying. I I I I'm, I don't find myself a great. Don't don't bring your rage at me. All right, <laughs> it because it doesn't anger you. Because I'm really trying to. to <laughs> to make space for your feelings and you're like you're not angry enough and that shit is pissing me off <laughs> you're fucking crazy you're, you're going crazy and i'm just here i didn't do this to you but no i don't like i don't like when people do it either but it's like you know what are you gonna do oh my yeah i, I get there that's the difference between our, our levels of rage i'll feel it and then very quickly it's like, hey, what are you gonna do Oh, but I, mean, yeah, like, no. I mean, if you ask me about in another half an hour, I'm not going to care. It just, but the it, fact that it's a half hour, <laughs> that's, that's some no, time. No, to be no? honest, that's one of, uh, no, to be a half an hour, I'll still be annoyed by it. I know. It's something that I, I am I am so annoyed by. I can see. And I, I, I'm i learning. And, I'm, yeah. and I hope I never trigger that for you. <laughs> Don't correct my grammar. Yeah, and I and I and I and I feel I feel empathy for everything you're going through. And I say you're why are you apostrophe Ari? <laughs> everything you're going through, I'm here for you. <laughs> that's one thing about Samantha. Oh my God. Anyway, so that's me. Yeah, th and, and thank you for sharing. You're welcome. And we guys. love you. And you guys, if you can't tell, we're having a great time. <laughs> we're feeling good. We're feeling open and honest and vulnerable. Yes. And part of why we're feeling that way is because if you're yeah. listening to this, it's May 1st, and that means Lily is back. Yeah, Liliano. Liliano. The Liliano is back. Fully stocked up, yes. and you can go over to their Instagram page, their website, and buy however many cans you want now. Yes. But when you do that, make sure you enter the promo code SOFTIES, S-O-F-T-I-E-S, for 20% off all Lily orders, because we just love those guys. Yeah. We love those guys over there. We love everything they're doing. The drinks make us feel good. They do. Samantha, it's taken her a little bit of time to step out of the rage that she was just No, feeling. I was going to say, you're lucky you spelled SOFTIES right. I was going to have to correct you. <laughs> And then I was going to, the only thing I would have had to do at that point, I would have hit you. 
I would have had to physically assault you. And we're just ruining this nice promo that we were cutting for Lily. <laughs> but this is out for them. And in is those new shipments of Lily. I think they got some new flavors that we're going to try later in the podcast Ooh. in a couple of weeks. But go to Lily. Use our promo code. Get you some cans. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It makes and you feel good. And 20% off. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. And we're doing it for you guys. Yeah, we're doing no, it for you guys. No, it's honestly so good. I would do it without you guys. I know, yeah, don't even real. need you. Don't even care about you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do. Yeah. Actually, listeners. if you don't buy any, oh no, more cans for us. More. <laughs> you guys think that you're getting one over by not buying what we're promoting? Motherfucker, just more for us. Yeah. Don't be dumb. Don't be an idiot. Yeah. Don't be an idiot. Don't just be like, oh my God, they're pushing a product. It's got to be. Don't be a fucking idiot. <laughs> Get the fucking drink. That, yeah, that so now good. I'm tight. Cause like I I, I see myself <laughs> doing shit like that. At, now you're yelling at our. I know. Our, you're like, get the fucking drink, you fucking broke ass. And don't you even fuck. use the fucking promo code. This guy's get fucking, fucking. This guy's fucking bots. Get your fucking money up. Get your fucking money up. This guy's pussy. fucking bots. Yeah. Some bots. No, it's good Call drink. Call me Lily, you bots. <laughs> No, 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 because people will hear that you're, you're promoting something. They'll be like, ah, oh, I can't be. Motherfucker, it's good. If you don't yeah. get it, you think these shit, brother, these are going to be in the pod forever. Don't oh, yeah. be dumb. Get the But get also, the drink. It's I, you just need to know, because like, I, I am like probably the biggest baby about the way that things taste. If yeah. I don't like something, I cannot force myself yeah. to eat it or yeah. drink it like yeah. at all. If something's like, this is the healthiest thing, it'll make you live an extra 10 years. If it tastes like shit, I have to get in it. I've been having like pills instead of like liquid medicine since mm. I'm like three years old. So mm. if this tasted bad, I would not. And if yeah. I didn't like it, I would not. So yeah. it is 100%. We're delish. also not getting paid as much as you think we are to promote. It's really fucking good. Get it. Yeah. All right. Don't piss us off. And with that being said, we're going to slide right into our next segment where we talk about things that are happening in the world and things that we're seeing on the internet yeah. in our very aptly titled I So Boom. And Boom is definitely the sound that was made at 824 this morning when Kendrick Lamar <laughs> dropped Euphoria, his diss track response to Drake, and it was six minutes of, of vitriol, anger, and uh, rhyming words that haven't been seen since the last time he came out with it. Yeah, I'm going to say um, a reference that you're not going to get, but Go he has it. the vocabulary of Mariah Carey because they both write words that I'm like, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah. And I have Kendrick, to look in the dictionary yeah, for Kendrick, it. Kendrick does a lot when he writes. and uh, He's but reading I, a, th a thesaurus. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 what he's doing, he's typing his words out and he's highlighting them and then <laughs> looking at the <laughs> looking suggestions. Because suggestions. that's what I do that's when I write That's what I do on my jokes. emails. That's what I do when I write jokes. Just, 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 just looking for different ways to say the same thing because that's all I do. I'm a hack. I need help. Oh, Call God. me Andrew Ginsburg. <laughs> Staying in, I, and it's respectful. He went on. It's already out. Yeah. Good guy. Go to Village Idiot. It's a great show. Um, but yeah, J uh, Drake got dissed. Kendrick dropped another. Dis he dropped his first response diss record, yeah. and it was, it was. I didn't. I hate the way it sounds. I don't think it sounds great. It starts and it sounds like a lullaby. Yeah, yeah. He comes. And I was in, like, is he trying to? To wrap him out of his pants? Yeah. Because you don't have to try that hard. <laughs> He's trying to fuck him up or fuck him. Because he was singing to him. He was drinking him, honestly. Uh, yeah, he really Which was. Which now, if you think about it, it it's kind of wicked when you yeah, think about yeah. it. He's kind of using his move. Uh, it's like when a wrestler does their person's move yeah, to the yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's when like, a rock yeah. used to st uh, stun, stun if Steve Shawn Michaels, If Shawn Michaels did the sharpshooter to, to Bret Hart. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So then, look at us making references. And um, basically, what, what, what uh, Kendrick was saying, the whole diss record was... Drake. I have no idea. Suck my fucking dick. It's the whole thing. Yeah, the whole vibe of the whole apparently, song. Apparently, I couldn't make out a goddamn word of it. Yeah, I'm trying to I, play the song <laughs> for Samantha right before we recorded, so we had a fresh take. And Samantha's just like, I, I, I can't, I, I can't, what are they saying? I literally, there's a point where I'm like, is he speaking a different language? In my head, I'm like, is he speaking French? Yeah. Because Drake is Drake from, has a French baby mother? No, because he's from Canada. Oh, uh, yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe he's speaking French. Yeah. And then, um, then I heard a word in English. I was like, oh, I just don't know what the fuck this dude is saying. Samantha was having such a hard time <laughs> listening to the lyrics that Kendrick was saying. She took her glasses off and squinted. <laughs> it's like, what, what is he saying? Hold on. I can't, I can't see. What is he saying? I, I, I don't understand. Samantha basically did the equivalent of when you turn, turn the, music the music down, down to parallel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, this part, this part when you, is too tight. It's so loud. Or when you're lost. Where the fuck are we going? Turn the music <laughs> off. Yo, yeah. nah, I do that same, the same thing too. But um, yeah, I, I think whenever Kendrick raps, he's always saying something fire because yeah. he's a very good rapper. Sometimes so they say. The, <laughs> Samantha would have no idea. Might as well be bad buddy rapping. There's no understanding. Coming back, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I don't know on. what the fuck he's saying. I don't know what's going on. I'm dancing. I'm dancing, and I think he's saying something disrespectful to women. I, I can't tell. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, he he uh, he's a great rapper, so the words are always good. Sometimes with Kendrick, the way he delivers it always makes me not cringe, but like his, his he goes he goes he. 
he takes real risks with his delivery. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that I felt like the way it sounded sonically to me, I didn't like it. But if you read it, it's very funny. I can imagine the only part that I really heard was the sexy red part, where that and then shit. he basically called Drake a bad bitch. Yeah, and I think that's the part of the of the song where Drake was probably like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like in the studio, like, Jake wasn't even mad He was like Okay you see me Yeah you see me I know you see it Yeah he just like me for real <laughs> It's funny you know You know you know, I'm a weird guy Cause I heard that lyric I'm like and what's the problem with that Yeah <laughs> Oh so we not bad bitches Oh so we just saying facts <laughs> <laughs> No but that shit was very funny Cause the way he said it He was like um, I think when you see <laughs> when when you stand next to Sexy Red, I think you see two bad bitches. Yeah. And that's just really funny because Kendrick is not even insulting. He was just saying, I think this. I think this. And Drake's probably like, yeah. He's like, he's like, that's your real. He's like, you don't like women. That's your competition. You might shake ass with them. I'm like, that's hard. Yeah. That is one of the, that's probably the funniest thing I think has ever been said to me. Yeah. Because it's 100%, 100% true. true. 100% <laughs> true. And it's so funny and it's disrespectful. And and today, and you know what's key, hard to do? Go yeah, real quick. Yeah, low key, I think okay. Cab Washington should be upset because yeah. I feel like it's about him. Yeah. Cab Washington should be upset, but it's also the way he lives his life. He's bisexual. He should be uplifted. You know what I'm it's saying? True. He's just being seen it's and true. recognized. And, um, I think what Kendrick did that's very hard to do in rap today, especially he hasn't always gotten away with it, but he found a way to call Drake, you know, girly without being homophobic yeah yeah, yeah. he's like i don't think you like women and that's honestly cool. a very progressive yeah um, and, and, and that's a hard. very progressive diss track yeah and that's hard to do now you know you yeah know? And he, I, and I he was basically yeah just basically being like this is why are you acting like you're this way when you're this way yeah yeah yeah. you don't have to yeah. do that you don't gotta do that. He, he, the, another funny thing he said he's Real like kids? i like when drake i like his melodies i just hate when he acts gangster that's what he said yeah and and I got to agree yeah. that's kind of been my thing with drake uh, yeah. is i am like just do the songs that we want to hear. Yeah. No one's, and I know that you don't agree. No, no, no. Go but for it. I don't think anyone's looking to Drake to no. like say the deep thing. Like that's not what we're here. No one wants to hear Drake's take. Well, it depends. I on want, it depends on what. I do want to hear Drake say a deep rapper thing know about if a relationship. Kiki loves him. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah. I don't care about the rest of it. Like him even d- dissing Kendrick was like, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, pick on someone. That was a crazy. Yeah. Like I, I like. There's no way he's gonna win this like lyrically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because I think Kendrick is you know probably lyrically probably the ta- most talented on the planet in terms of what he can do with words. I think J Cole is probably just the best at keeping it simple. No, being really good. I I I feel like. J. Cole and Kendrick make more sense to go at each other. A little bit, but I, but I couldn't do, be J. Cole. I do think that I well, J. Cole couldn't be. He could. Uh, couldn't he couldn't be, be. He could not have his piece. Yeah. And honestly, I, I like it for him. I like and it I kind of respect that Kendrick hasn't said anything. It's funny because he, he said a little jab, but not not big enough. But um, I, I think I think he respects him. He does because they're friends for real. Yeah. yeah. He, but he's another, like, I don't want to disrupt my boy's piece. Another <laughs> another really funny thing that Drake. He's just like I'm the biggest hater, and I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. Away. I hate the way you dress. Who he's said just, that? Drake is saying that on the. I mean, uh, Kendrick is saying that to Drake on this record. It's really funny. That's really because it's like when you. Re- I think this this track is better read than listened to because I don't love his delivery, but it is very funny and it's he's saying a lot of fun, a lot of hard shit. But um, I say that to say. I like when Drake sings. I love when he sings. Some of my favorite songs are, are the singing Drake. I love when he raps too. I think he doesn't get enough credit for rapping because he sings so well and, and does the melodies. But I understand people feeling like, brother, why are you doing the gangster shit? Because I mean, he that's didn't not live you. a gangster life, and though. He that's, the, that's the thing. And he doesn't. But I will say, as somebody who also didn't live a gangster life and perpetuated one for a little bit, I think he can rap well about it. Yeah. I don't think he has the the, the frame of mind to actually have punch behind what he's saying, but I do like the way he says it. Mm-hmm. And I think it sounds cool. So I'm not saying that you have to be a, a, a come a, come from a gangster life to rap gangster shit, because I don't think you, you need to. And I, I, I just like the song if it's good. Yeah. But I think it's a thing that you obviously deserve to get made fun of for. And 100%. that's what Kendrick's doing. And I think everything's in bounds. And this is definitely better than, I, I didn't like Drake's record when he did the AI shit. I thought that shit was super weird. And I, I didn't like get that at all. I didn't um, get it either, but whatever. Here's what I do want to ask you about so we don't get too bogged down in the politics of fucking hip hop. Uh, Drake was made fun of by the second rapper in so many days for getting his abs done. (laughs) <laughs> How do you feel about men getting work done to their midsection to put abs in their in their body? To put abs, sense? I think, is insane. You think and I would insane? think it's insane for a woman as well if she did that. Yeah. I I I don't. I think that's I think that's crazy. Yeah. Because if you get fat, what are you just gonna have abs? Yeah. I don't know. I'm asking you. I, don't know. I think that's crazy. That's like um. I remember. Do you remember the True Life on um MTV? Yes. Um, there was a guy who got calf implants. Oh, oh man, that's you didn't watch Entourage, but that that was a oh, I, I, um, um, what, uh, Johnny, Johnny Drama, Johnny, baby. Yeah, I was gonna say Johnny Bananas. Oh, no, he, Bananas. Had, he had a show called Johnny Bananas. Yes, yeah. okay, that's what I was like, wait, bitch, did you watch Entourage? Yeah. Oh man, we should 
We should talk about that one day. <laughs> yeah, I watched Entourage. I didn't know you were fucking chill like that, dude. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I haven't watched it like straight through yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. They, it got syndicated and I started watching it. Like oh, that. that's good. It's a great show. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. And I saw the movie and stuff okay. when it came out. But um, I, we never talked about this. This is great. Um, but yeah, so he got yeah he got the calf implants. But it was a guy True Life, and he got his calf implants. And I just remember even back then, just being like. Just work out your calves. Yeah, I know. But I, as someone who can't, my calves do not. I can yeah. work out my calves all the time, and I. It's just not my muscle does not stick out like yeah, the yeah, way yeah. most people. No, I do. get it, and I get why people feel like they have to get. But abs up. is wild. I think it's wild. But where's the line? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let me ask you: Do you think getting a BBL is, is wild? I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I, I also I wouldn't. I think it's wild. I think it's crazy, especially when you have like for a regular person if they find the funds to do it. Uh, f- fine I guess Yeah But like uh, And it does change The complete shape of your body With Drake It's like you were rich enough To have chefs Yeah that's And true. a personal trainer You can get abs In like two months If you yeah, wanted them Yeah plus you're a dude You you're, can do it I, I, Yeah especially cause, Especially because guys Can get abs so fast Yeah that metabolism But like a BBL Will change the shape of your body And you can't like yeah. Even when you work out, if you are shaped like a V, yeah. you're not going to all Plus of a sudden have an hourglass yeah. shape. And that is obviously the most appealing thing. Plus, it's an invasive, dangerous surgery. It is an invasive, yeah. So I is feel the, like. Is the app thing? I'm, I'm assuming I'm sure, that I've well. never heard no, of it. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't know either until this beef. Honestly. But low key, I feel like Kanye is the person to put, the, put like, get men. He, remember he got liposuction? Did he? And he, he was, talked to him when he chumps. was like losing his mind yeah. and he like went on TMZ when he went on TMZ the first time and said that slavery they, they was a choice. They're putting more chocolate into Twix. <laughs> Did you see that? remember that you know, it's when he, he was said like slavery was a choice us, yeah 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 there was one one rant where he was like twix is making us fat and i'm and everybody's like kanye you're just eating too much chocolate buddy <laughs> it was really yeah and then though. he's like i got liposuction so you guys wouldn't make fun of me yeah and it was like man you were so rich yeah you, I, could, you could make better choices i literally if i'm ever rich enough the first people going on the payroll are i'm getting a chef because I don't want to, like, I'll cook whenever I feel like it. Yeah. But, like, make me healthy. Make me the healthiest, most delicious meals. Yeah. That's it. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. So, where does, where, for you, what do you think is reasonable work to get done and, and, and where does that stop? I feel like, The okay, face is face, different from the body? Yeah, like, I feel- Do you think that's just because we've had more time with face surgery or is it generally no. safer than, than things you do to your body like breast implants and, yeah, and because and ab jobs? face stuff, for the most part now, is all injectables. Okay. So, those are things you go yeah. and they, it's not risky. That's you're different, not You're yeah. not going to die. What about like a nose job though? Um, no, I can get a nose job. Okay. I feel like that's fine. If it's something that bothers, I feel like when it's something that you cannot change any other way. So like breasts? Yeah. Like if you want big, I, I, I actually, I don't, obviously I don't care what anybody does, Yeah, yeah. but I feel like when I'm like, what, when I, when I feel like people are doing things that it's like, you can obviously get this just yeah. if you had a little bit of discipline. Of, of discipline. Yeah. So things like that, I'm always just like, what? But if someone gets their nose done, and I like, I'm yeah. fine. Like, I'm pretty sure Bad Bunny has had his jaw. Oh, 100%. Same thing with Jack Harlow. His jaw done and his lips done, mm-hmm. and great. He great. Looks, both look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks it's amazing. Yeah. It's like the same way uh, Chloe, whatever she done. So oh, when great. people are like, Chloe's had so much work done. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, and she needs great. all of it. Yeah, and if I was her too, you think, she, like, why would she do that? She should have loved herself. First of all, y'all were all making fun of her. And yeah. so if I had the money to do it too, I'm gonna do it. Like, yeah, yeah. So okay, so face, ugly sister forever. Yeah. So face. Let's. I don't want to like get bogged down. Oh yeah. Sorry. So face. Face, face is, is cool. fine. Breasts are cool. Yeah. What about penis? If that That's, was if that, that if, if you could offer it, would would you get would you, would you be bothered if guys had surgically altered penises? I mean, I wouldn't be bothered by it. I wouldn't be bothered. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I don't think. That's right. Good, good to know. You're not having that surgery. Don't be stupid. I, I do want to have a talk with you about it. <laughs> so stupid. Just you can just, just show up. Just have pamphlets for me. Yeah, just show up, have pamphlets, or I'll just surprise you one day on our anniversary and just take my dick out and be like, <laughs> then put it back in and be like, you can suck my fucking dick. Which is the button? Yeah. Which is the button you meant to press the first time? Yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 that was all on purpose because the the you'd be scared when you see how big yeah, it is yeah. that you could suck be my fucking dong. dick. And then all I want to hear from you is that you feel it in my pussy. Oh. I'm just pressing buttons because we're having a good time. And then I'd shoot up the club like. All right. So now, I just want a bigger penis. That's all it is. You have a you have a great penis. Thank you for and also, me. I feel like a lot of guys are like think about penis size where it's like there's so much more to sex than penis size. I understand if somebody has a micro or a micro penis get yeah, the yeah, surgery. Yeah, crazy stuff. But, you know, there's a million things you could do to be good at sex. Yeah. Literally, I I was just watching a video where they, he put his leg up and he on the side, yeah. Hand on throat, other hand on frontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that video. Yeah, that's a classic. Um, 
Oh, I love that. But um, yeah, so I think that surgery is just something that guys would want. But Okay, but if that was offered, you'd be like, all right, do what you got to do. Um, I wouldn't know if it was a guy I was with, I would be like, you're not doing that. Surgery. I feel like, yo, how scary of a place would the world be if every guy was walking around cocked up? I feel like, I don't know if the amount of, I don't, I can't tell if it would be a, a utopia or a complete post-apocalyptic no, no, no. scorched earth thing. There's nothing. Uh, if everybody has a big dick. You mean a guy, a guy being more confident is going to be a good thing? No, I, no thank you. Guys but, have too much no, confidence. You're right. You're right. No, I know. But I'm saying like, if we gave every guy a hog. Or, or just what, what, what the perfect penis for every woman on the planet, let's say, or nobody had a tiny penis. Yeah. Would we, I think, I feel like guys would find something else to beef about for sure. Or would that just be like, would that mellow every dude out? What do you think? That's, I think that's a fun hypothetical. Let's live there. Um, I think, no, you're always going to find something yeah, else to be upset. Yeah, we're going to find something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's true. It's, it's yeah, going to just become about balls. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he's got the biggest pair of balls. He's got the biggest pair of balls. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. guy looks like he's got balls to his knees. Yeah, that's true. It would, it, yeah, it would just end up like a South Park episode where they're riding their balls like fucking, like horses in the streets. <laughs> Is that an actual South Park? It's an actual South Park Jesus episode. Christ. Yeah, so life, interesting just stuff. life, yeah. Um, I think we can go into our next yeah, segment we'll go now, into, right? Yeah, we'll go into our last segment uh, where we... I don't remember what prompted us having a conversation about... about a, oh, no, Samantha and I were having a conversation where she was criticizing me for not having any boundaries or things yeah. that would cause me to not have sex with somebody when I was single. Yeah. And uh, that prompted us to, to talk about what our deal breakers would be. Yeah. So we asked you guys what your dating deal breakers are and you guys came through and gave us a lot of responses and we're going to go over all of them in our final segment. <laughs> That's, That's what, what they, they say. saying. And uh, we just want to thank you guys for really showing up because sometimes our engagement on, on our pod, not on our pod, but like Instagram is tough sometimes. Yeah. It's real tough. You want to go first? Uh, yeah, we came. you guys came through, and we will talk about some of the submissions that we got. Also, a reminder that our link in our bio for our Google yes. submission is always up. It's always live. And we have a couple that we haven't done from from a, a couple weeks past. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll do them next time. Week, yeah, yeah. Because we got a lot of funny stuff that we want to get into now. And uh, I got a couple. Oh, damn, I got a bunch. Nice, dude. All right, so we're talking about dating deal breakers. Yes. This means that things that if you're dating somebody, it's like icks on a bigger level, I would say. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? A deal breaker is bigger than an ick. Right? I, I think... What do you I, think? I, I'm actually unsure what, what an ick is, and I'm just showing my age. Yeah. I, a deal breaker, I think, is is, is, is kind of just self-explanatory, so yeah. we're just going to keep it there. Yeah, deal breaker. I, I was familiar with deal breakers first. Yeah. Then white women put on leather pants and came to the Lower East Side, and now the ick exists. And I, I don't know They put know on what corsets and then now yeah, they literally put on corsets. That's fucking, I don't, you guys are, I mean, not you guys, but women are crazy. But, um, all right. So one deal breaker that I got, uh, is if she has a bigger cock than mine, I'm out. Okay. And to that, I would respond. Don't be a pussy. Yeah, don't be a pussy about it. Don't be a pussy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, of course, her, her cock is going to be bigger than yours because you just have a pussy. Yeah. It like. You know, my, my whole thing is when You're it comes, when it comes to that. If you don't just move that dick out of the way <laughs> no, and I get wonder... to the hole, what are we talking about? Don't let a little dick get in between you and some puss, dude. Be just, a man. Yeah, be a man. Yeah. I love that. Damn, that's got to come. Yeah. <laughs> Lydia! No! Yeah, just just timestamp right. that. That's, that's at about uh, 47 minutes. All and right. we're going to go. Yeah. Woo. Tough stuff. Yeah. Tough stuff we're having. But... What we're having is a lot of fun, and I regret not most of that, but definitely that last part. Uh, another one that I got, when a guy has to put his finger on the page while he reads. <laughs> Low key, that's, that's a me. Deal with, yeah? If, he's, if I'm following along with my finger? No, I'm saying I sometimes like oh, read yeah. with, my, with my finger. Yeah, I think honestly- Well, honestly- n- where where what would you be reading? Yeah, a book? like a menu is fine. Like not, I mean, menu you usually don't need your finger. But I'm saying if you're reading something small, it's like if I'm reading a newspaper article, sometimes I keep my finger. Yeah, me too. Honestly, I think if you can read something without using your finger, you're a fucking nerd, and that's a deal breaker. <laughs> I don't want to be with anybody that's way too smart to just magically know where they were at. Yeah, because sometimes you read the same line. What are you reading and thinking about what you're reading? So, t- you're, you mean to tell me you're not reading and thinking about a million other things, and you have to restart the page like ten times? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, that's very funny. It's all the time. All the time. All the time. That's why I, I, I can't read because I'm fucking like, I'll just start thinking about other stuff. And yeah, like, well, I, and I'm, I, I don't know how I'm doing it, but I am reading. Yeah. But I am not retaining a single thing about it. Me reading a book and watching Shogun with no soap title, no subtitles is the, <laughs> same, the same thing. Because I'm, I'm barely picking anything up. Oh my God. Except a couple words that I recognize thoroughly. <laughs> it's also like when people tell me they're having trouble sleeping. I'm like, oh, lay in bed and read a book. Mm -hmm. I, how many times I have laid down and tried to read and I wake up and the book is on top. I'm asleep. Yeah, it's like immediate. Might it's, as well be melatonin. Yeah. Also, sometimes I do use my finger when I'm reading an email at work on my laptop. Yeah, me too. If someone's got me fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, am just I reading sure. this correctly? And I'm like, line to line. I'm like, this. The okay. whole time you're just like, there's no fucking way. Yeah, this is yeah literally. Happening. I'm like, she cannot be serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use my finger for that, but that's so funny. That's a very funny deal breaker. Hopefully, you don't date a bookworm. Yeah. Um. L L shout out to Luisito Ortiz. If if you're dating a girl named Alicia Nicole, she doesn't like you. <laughs> Does he right? read his? Oh, he reads. He books. loves to read. Yeah. All right. Somebody else said, "Kids." Uh, so we know your brother's not listening to the yeah, pod. Yeah. <laughs> Lilia. No. My brother uh, wrote that in the row opposite day. <laughs> I'm a little JK. <laughs> I would never date somebody. Could with never kids. be me. Could never. Um, deal breaker. I mean, I feel like for a lot of people, I feel like for a lot of younger people, that's a big deal breaker. Like people like still in their 20s for most people. Yeah. But I think the Oh, that's a deal breaker get, for me. Oh, yes? Yeah, I, I would no, never. I'm, good for you. I'm um, not good for you, but yeah, that's a, that's a normal preference. Yeah. I don't know if my mom did like damage on me, but she, you know, my dad had a kid before her and obviously yeah. she loves Jason and everything, but she, it, be, it was super difficult. Yeah. And she's like, you have to be okay with never being first mm. and like it's fine That's once tough. you're with somebody and you have kids and you decide you know like and now then, we gotta yeah, put this you, kid you, you learn a new dynamic but like when it's never that person is first yeah it's just a weird thing because that like my dad was first for my mom but she was never first for my dad yeah, it's tough. so That's i think as time goes on then you just accept and you never are first and you have more kids and then you become fifth and i think that so my mom would always tell me like if you can avoid it avoid it mm. Um, so something I something to think about. Yeah, I, 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 and I have no, no desire. I will say the people in my life that I've seen do it, oh, I it's think great. It's, it, it, it always looks super dope. I Not say, looks dope, but like I, I, oh, yeah. I like those people a lot. And and, and I say that when I, you know, and my brother is with Amanda, who has Isabel, who mm -hmm. I cannot imagine yeah, my exactly. life without her. Yeah, uh, and good on my brother. Yeah, shout out to both. Couldn't of them. be me. And then uh, oh, this is a good one that I'm sure you're gonna fucking uh, love. A big deal breaker is men that don't plan anything. Be fucking for real. Yeah. Yeah. I I get that. Yeah. And as a man who like. It is in my blood to plan nothing because my father planned nothing and yeah. his father planned nothing. And, I'm <laughs> and sure, his father before him. <laughs> I'm sure all these men back in the lineage of Cuba's great nation. Yeah. Men in general, like in, in years, this is this only a recent yeah, it's thing. A time, but like, yeah, I will. I, uh, I'm i not the best at it. Like, I, I feel like I do decent I feel now. like you do great. Thank I you for like, saying yeah. that because it's something that I have to be intentional about. But yeah, man, that's a fucking sickness that we have. Can't, we can't be burdened to plan anything. And if it makes you guys feel better, which it's not going to, and it's also not an excuse, but we also plan nothing with each other. Men, man plans, they don't... Oh, I know. They aren't thought of, they come together. Yeah. Like, it, it, it just, it's, it starts as an idea that gains momentum, and it's very rarely something that's planned out thoroughly. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's it's kind it's it's so weird to me. Yeah. I Kevin don't Hart has a great joke about it where he's like, um, where women plan things in advance and guys plan things and the girls are like, All right, well where are you going? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Wherever we at. It's like, Well, who's gonna be there? I, I don't know who shows up, I guess. And then well, what time will you be home? Uh, whenever we're done. That's that's and that's literally like not even trying to make plans just to be difficult, but that's how it is. Oh my god, anytime you're like, Oh, I'm gonna meet my boy like, who's going? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. And that's the fun part. It's like a little surprise. You guys like to be surprised and we like to be surprised too. Or just the bar for our surprises. The, I think for guys, oh, well, and I'm not going to speak for guys. For me, the fun comes when there's no planning because I didn't do any work to get where I'm at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So anything that happens, the bar's low and I can just be like, oh, this is nice because nothing was done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's yeah, a, yeah. a zero cost of zero cost. Everything is just positive. You know, I, I agree. I mean, it's like it's a nice thing. I don't agree. I would never, but yeah. I can understand. I can definitely understand how that's a big. Uh, but guys that don't plan anything, I do hate like dating them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. I'm not trying to plan everything, and I want to. Yeah. So I want to be able. To, like, I think there should be an equal amount of yes. like turn your brain off. Yeah, you do got to. And them like, it's like, hey, you. Pl oh, we're going on a date today. Cool. Where? Yeah. What? You know. Yeah, you got. You got to take. You got to trade. Do. do yeah. yeah. Go back and. One forth. of my deal breakers would be like if I was talking to a dude. And he'd be like, oh, let's go out on Tuesday. I'm like, cool. Where you what go? do you want to go? And then he'd be like, oh, it's up to you. It's yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll never answer you again. I, I learned that that was a, a really undesirable thing like early in my 20s because yeah. in my 20s when I was trying to date, I had no money because I had no job. So I had to be 
better at everything else. And that was one easy way I learned like, oh, if you just have a place in mind, yeah. that really take it's passenger princess. They just want to, they just want everything to be handled every once in a while. Yeah. Don't put it on me to yeah, plan it because you're asking you, me out yeah. and then, but that's it. You're only halfway doing it. Yeah. And when y'all want plan, when y'all want to plan something, y'all are going to plan the fucking shit oh, out absolutely. of something. So it's an easy, easy thing for, for y'all to do. I have some So I too. get that. All right, you go and then uh, I'll, I'll do the soft launch ones okay, after. Let me got so many on these. Yeah. I got Shout a out bunch. to all our softies came through. Also guys, just a reminder, fucking drop a comment, like subscribe to podcast comment on YouTube. Even if it's just saying algorithm, we got a bunch of people who started doing that for us and we love all y'all. Yes. Shout out to everybody who always comments to keep i reading. have like a lot yeah okay so then i have i'm just gonna read them off and then any that we feel like talking more about you let me know all right go ugly toes ugly toes. that would be a big deal for you you're That's, a foot guy yeah, i'm a foot guy uh deal breaker i always feel bad saying it's a deal breaker like anything because i feel like some of these things are out of your control but ugly toes is a big problem uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah jc like the other day i put my foot on him and he got rock hard yeah it's it's that simple <laughs> i'm a simple guy and it's just what it is yeah um not wearing a seatbelt. It's a deal breaker, and I kind of get it. Because it's really? like, do you have no, not in the back seat, but like in the front seat, if you're sitting in the passenger seat or the driver's seat, you have no regard for your life, which means I don't want to be around you. No Because you're not going to have any regard for me. No, I don't ever want a bad boy. I've never thought any of that shit was cool. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. you're, a, But you're a little bit of a square. I don't know what would be hot about not wearing a seatbelt. I don't know. That's why it's kind of hot. No, it's. I think it's so dumb. Yeah, it's like it doesn't make any sense. No. Okay, ready? Enjoying, this is my favorite, enjoying some guy named Jordan Peterson. <laughs> also, my brother put it in said opposite day. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's just what he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jordan Peterson, yeah. I mean, anytime, anytime you're a big fan of any one person who podcasts that's, I, besides us i mean that, yeah. we're, that we're, we're, we're talking about no it's 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 not even a podcast it's when it's like you know i'm a professor and i and i'm telling you like this is actually the way that things yeah anybody are. anybody who's a big fan of free thought i that's a that's a deal breaker for me uh, low-key a free thinker but, i hate that yeah because a free thinker just means you're a youtube thinker yeah that's all you just, your thought is in youtube yeah you yeah, put yeah. your stock there i hate a free thinker i love somebody i love a good mainstream follower honestly <laughs> because i am one and it's really just liberating to allow yourself to jump on a trend that most people get on with i'm not saying you have to do everyone but like people that's why that's like because i was that guy i was like drake is trash because everybody loved him yeah and then i was like why am i doing this oh yeah what who is this for oh yeah people accept a good thing yeah when something's popular it's usually because it's good it's like love is blind is on i hate how everybody watching reality tv brother it's fucking lit all I right know. love is the shit is popping that's why everybody's watching it i hate a fucking free thing i want another deal breaker would be somebody who like has to go against everything go that against people the grain like. dog when you're a devil's advocate yeah. when you're advocating for the devil maybe yeah maybe the devil doesn't need an advocate yeah yeah not to, in my house yeah, we, we, quote, we, are. We, we we love jesus christ yeah we're yeah. catholic kids yeah. you understand yeah why why play devil's advocate i ever? hate that no i hate that i hate like i saw somebody tweet recently like man i went to trader joe's what y'all talking about that place sucks Bro, come uh, on, if man. Don't, if oh, you don't just get a say, shrimp dumpling and shut the fuck up. Bro, just say you don't like deals. <laughs> say you like to spend all your money, yeah. Mr. Moneybags. Come like, on, bro. bro. Yeah, if you're not trading with here. Joseph, what are you doing? <laughs> Listening to Joe Budden's pod? I'd rather trade with Joe than fucking yeah. pod with him. Yeah. Fuck like, out of Go get your cashew of pepe ravioli and shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. Go get some tortellini and shut your fucking mouth. All right, get in a boat, swim upstream, get some fucking salmon, which yes. I do have to issue an apology to Trader Joe's. The, the smoked salmon was always there. I just didn't realize that it was in a different yeah, place. Yeah, it was in a different place, and I told him that via text. Hey, I think that means that it's in a different aisle, and he told me no. Yeah, just didn't want to talk to uh, uh, a person working at Trader Joe's that, that particular moment. It's overwhelming in Trader Joe's. <laughs> There's a lot of different things going on. We're taking that out. Really? Yeah. That I was like Oh, yeah, yeah no. Well, I figured at that point I was already there. Might as well have fun. Let me just timestamp that. 57, 47. If the, if the minute it's, ends in a seven, I, I'm yeah, not you're, in you're just going off the rails. Going okay. off the rails. This one, it's giving broke. More than two pairs of Jordans. Shut it's a deal up. breaker if you have more than two yeah, pairs of Jordans. I'm like, I would say it's a deal breaker if you don't have more than two pairs of Jordans, especially if you're a, a, a woman. I, I don't want to fucking cutesy bootsy i want a street princess <laughs> that's what i want I, re I will never forget i walked into something one day and i was wearing uh my breads yeah and you were like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like set up you go wow 
She was, just like me for real. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. We could run the streets together. Yeah. We not running shit if you got heels on, ma. That's like me only having Birkenstocks. No, yeah. man. What do you want me to have? Common projects? Fuck out of here. All right, we got another one. Responding to my inappropriate texts with serious shit like question mark, question mark. So like if you're being if Oh, if you're trying to be if, sexy and, and they're not like, huh? Yeah, if they're not picking up what you're putting down, I guess that's a deal. Yeah, you gotta be able to that's like having imagine doing that in real life and like trying to talk dirty and the person's like, Y'all don't really fuck with that. Oh my god, I would die. Yeah, you gotta you gotta kinda, I also feel like there are some people that just don't, don't wanna sext. write to Yeah, like uh, I don't know. I feel like that's Were you gotta a sexter be, back in the day? Um, I mean I've done it, but I've never felt comfortable. It's it's I had like a, a joke about it at one point, like yeah. about Men be like, what are you doing? You're like touching yourself, but you're like in, in Trader Joe's in the aisle. Like, and you're, you are wet, but just because they have their ravioli that, that yeah. came back in stock. Yeah. But, um, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I couldn't make it work. Yeah. 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 It, was like it was like an early day. It was like an early year. We'll visit that in a couple of years. Yeah, maybe good. I will. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it's like, I'm not, you know, this is not turning me on. Yeah. It's just, that's just not, maybe it works for some women. For me, it didn't. Yeah. You know, a guy's like, I'm going to stick it in you. And it's like, okay. I, and now it's like, I'm sitting here. I actually don't feel comfortable saying these things to you via text. And it's like, you know, and then it's like, I, I, am I going to typo in there? And that's weird to read. It's just, I'm like, this, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. You get too horny, you start typing like the girl from Baby Reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Said from my iPhone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't love it. I it's was not, a big sexter because some like you know. I can't even think because you gave me one thing. You did. You gave nothing on text. Really? You give nothing. You gave me nothing on text. Really? You wouldn't say a dirty thing. I mean, well, because you weren't texting me, but you wouldn't say a dirty thing to me. <laughs> I would have to like kind of be like, hey, are you gonna fucking come fuck me this weekend? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't initiate it. And you're, it's not like you're, and then you would, you would kind of reply. You would just give me fucking. Yeah. I'm what sorry. day you weren't. Yeah. Well, I wasn't trying to talk dirty to you, but you, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to initiate dirty talk. It, it has to be, it, I was never the one like I need to talk dirty, but if somebody that I was talking to was into it, I, 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 I'd, I'd be into it. Yeah. I feel like I don't like typing it. And that, no, and that makes sense. Especially cause you, you need a lot more fucking, you need a lot more hand-eye coordination <laughs> on the puss if you're trying to come. I can I can but type it's also like, I can type jerk off and drive all at the same time. So very so simple that, stuff. So if a girl's writing something dirty, you're getting turned on. That's crazy to me. I'm a weird Are kid. you touching yourself? No, no, I think that's for guys. I've, I've, i I I mean not all the time, sometimes. Well not yeah. anymore, but in but in my twenties. There's never not one time been a time that I'm talking dirty to a guy that I'm even I'm doing I'm I'm doing tours. I'm yeah. running errands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally, I I'm watching. I, I'm watching Vanderpump Rules, and I'm like, "This motherfucker." I never thought. And I'm like, like "Yeah, where do you want to put it? Samantha, put Samantha, my phone down." <laughs> Samantha, like the, the dude's horned up, horny as hell, jerking off with his left, texting with his right, and Samantha's just chat GBTing him back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm literally just just writing Google yeah. something about my anxiety. And I'm the like, only only voice note that Samantha sent me back is, "You want the stick? Yeah, I'm gonna take that dick. You want the stick?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally he's writing me a dirty text and I'm writing in, in Google I'm like does a migraine mean I have a brain tumor <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to give you his, his he's trying to give you his dick he's like I'm gonna give you my D yeah. and then she's like I'm on WebMD yeah. <laughs> I think I have cancer yeah <laughs> he's like yeah I'll put a, I'll put something in you she's like yeah is it a tumor because I think I have one yeah I need you to take it out yeah yeah that's me. That's, I, that's Samantha's dirty talk. Yeah, I'm like, like I oh, you want me to take you to urgent care? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really into it, but I, I think, but I was good at it. Yeah, I'm sure you are. You, and I mean, I'm just. Shit. I mean, you got a mouth on you, girl. But, all right. That's not. All right, whatever. Every time I fucking tell the truth, you get fucking weird with me. Uh, every time you say something, I think about your mom listening to this pod and it freaks me out. I think my mom would be very happy that I have a healthy sex life <laughs> with a woman that I love. And if she and this feels is not uncomfortable. the fourth time you said that on this Because pod. I really believe it. I, I, I stand ten toes down in it, and I think she's proud of me. And I and I and I and she raised a, a boy who's an attentive lover. Yeah, and and she should be proud. And I would be so proud to raise a child to do who who did the same. All right, I got more. What else we got? Okay, hold on, I'm pulling them up. Uh, cheap men. Cheap so, men, deal breaker. Yeah, yeah that's fair. I it feel is, like it is when a, it comes it to romance and even friendship, it's it's hard to to be friends around something cheap. Like you kind of gotta be willing to split. Oh my god, like, yeah. Bill, when you're when you're going like, all right, what did everybody order? When you're itemizing bills, it's yeah. When you're nickel and diming, yeah, yeah, yeah. You when you're telling me like, hey, I'm actually now? we're renting a house, but I won't be there until midnight, which really counts as the next day. So yeah. can you count me for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely I don't like not. That for so, 
I'm a stupid kid, okay? Yeah. I, I I graduated with barely, but it's getting my teeth. Yeah. So you want me to do some extra math? No, we're, we're splitting this four ways because my, I'm going to fucking explode <laughs> if we don't. Yeah, I have no idea. Please, I'm trying to ca- make these calculations. I'm fucking texting this jerk off back. Yeah, I'm trying to tell him to put his dick in my mouth. I, I can't do it all. <laughs> um, okay, uh, not letting me order whatever I want at a restaurant. Yeah, I mean, that's, um, a, that, that's a deal breaker when you have a, somebody who's controlling and doesn't uh, actually give Yeah, you I, um, I've never been on a date like, with a guy like, like that. Like, like, she'll have the salad type shit? Yeah. That's crazy. Or like, I know what's good here, let me order. Oh, no, mm, I hate that too. Absolutely not. No, because one yeah, thing I've done is, we you made this reservation two days ago, I've already memorized the menu. <laughs> I Yo, know what I'm ordering. You do do that. You're no, so big on checking the menu before we go there. I know. It's, and it's something that I've learned from being with you is that, oh, I should, I, I should know what I want when I get in there. I It's my favorite thing to do. I can tell. And then I get mad when people don't because I'm yeah. like, let's order because yeah. if we're ever going to, if i'm ever going to a dinner with you i'm, I'm not eating hungry yeah i haven't eaten in 40 I, yeah i might as well be islam I, i'm fasting yeah i, I skip breakfast for sure yeah yeah i'm starving yeah so we're I'm not like, at dinner with a, we're at iftar oh my god what <laughs> i'm breaking my fast yeah i'll be with like me and david every time we're usually like in a taxi together going somewhere and it's always like getting like so what do you think you're gonna order we already yeah, know yeah, you yeah, should, yeah, or david funny. says i was like i haven't even looked and i'm like well figure it out before yeah. we get there yeah and then, uh, yeah, because I'm like, I don't want to wait. Then we get there, I'm like, guys, let's order. I don't want to wait yeah. for you to figure what you order. order. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would hate a guy to tell me what to do because I also, I'm so good at ordering. Yeah, yeah, you do order. Um, you do order pretty good. Bad breath, absolutely. That's a tough one, yeah. That's You got to just, yeah, you got you to gotta figure something out. Oh my God. Also, it's very funny how like the body. Would you would you leave somebody without telling them they had bad breath? Of or course, would you tell it's them they had place. bad breath? Yeah, that's a, it's tough, my place. that's a tough one. That's for your friends to tell you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I, it's funny how it works. Cause like I have liked a guy and then when I'm like turned off by him, now the smell of him grosses me out yeah, that's where tough. I'm like, ill. Yeah. When, uh, I feel like women's attraction, <sighs> like, att- like it's such a fickle thing. Oh my God. Yeah. It's it such could a be, delicate thing. It could like, be turned off. Even- and I know I'm not the best person to have it as, have, an, have as an example, but I feel like guys are like, whatever, man. Yeah. They get there a lot quicker, but women can't. It's small things, and then it is a it is a fucking paradigm shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I'm over it, everything you do is is a deal breaker. I know. It's and it's it's so it's such a thin line. <laughs> so we had cheap med, and now we have a girl who never reaches in her purse. Like, bitch, I'm already a single parent. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, your your situation is a little bit extensuous, but like, yeah. But that, I, why I, is that I on agree. me? Because you because you fucked a bit another bitch without a condom. Now I have to I have to reach into my purse. Fuck you. Then you shouldn't be dating. Yeah. Well, I, I do. You. I. I I am of the belief that I do want to feel like we're it's an even exchange. I don't need us to go half on the date or you pay for a date that I pay for, but I would like to know that you value my time in the same way I value your time with 100%. money every once in a while. But if your reasoning is because you're a single dad, now it's like, oh, that's not my problem. Yeah, but it, it's it's your problem now because I'm a man and, and I need a woman and I have a kid and you're a part of this. <laughs> yeah. Um, someone, another a girl wrote, he doesn't eat the box. Yeah, that's, that's a that's huge a, that's deal, a breaker. deal breaker. You gotta get you. You gotta get your Latin man. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even have to be Latin. Just find somebody that's not Jamaican with white pants on, and you and they will go to town on you. Yeah, I've had so many girlfriends just be like, yeah, he doesn't do it, but it's, I don't like it. Any yeah. girl that tells me they don't like that, I'm like, yeah. oh, you just either your man doesn't do it and you're trying to pretend, yeah. or you've never had it done correctly because yeah. there's no fucking yeah. way. That's happened to me once where I've been with a girl that didn't like it, and I'm like. Well, it's all I got. <laughs> I, I think you're gonna want to. Did let she me end do up this. liking it? No, she didn't let me do it. Oh, that's like an insecurity thing. I think, I think. you're. I think you're gonna want to let me do this. Yeah. Because you're not gonna finish if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only way. You're like, because I already came. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like no, I don't. I don't like it. Well, either you let me do this, or we're gonna be here for an hour. <laughs> I yeah, I'll fuck you in twenty four hours. Yeah, uh, maybe tomorrow. Or do are you busy tomorrow? <laughs> I came fully, and I really tried to play it off, and I and I slipped the condom off, and it's over there. Yeah, uh, that's so that funny. Is, Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, hundred percent. Well, you 100%. came like before all the time. They used to not all me. the time. I, I used to. I mean, you know, cut, for me, I'm not. I cut, it's lasting long is difficult for me. Yeah, I come. I have a blast in there. <laughs> And I am not ashamed to admit it. I ha- I'm having fun, and it can it is a threat to end at any second. That's so funny. Yeah, but you've like come like like no hundred percent. Well, in the early days, in the yeah. early. Days. I mean, yeah, of course, it's, it, it just happens sometimes. For All me. right, got another one. Wearing shoes in the house. 
Oh, well, for me, it, it's not a, not a deal breaker, but it is something that I would like. As soon as I got a little comfy, wumpy, I would be like, um, "You should not be wearing your yeah, sneakers." My, in the house. my dad does that sometimes. He, he'll wear his sneakers like on the be- like he'll like when I used to live with my grandma. He used to come in and put his sneakers on the bed. I'm like, "Motherfucker, take them off!" That's you should piss me off. No, that's crazy. Yeah, but I'm saying like that's a thing. That's a comfort. That's not a deal breaker. You gotta unless they're like, "I will never take my sneakers off." Then that, you know, yeah, that's a then it's a, a conversation we have. Also, Dad, if you're listening, I love you. Send send an emoji of some sneakers. <laughs> then your sister said not six feet tall which one said that um the one who's with a six a man who's over six feet oh t- yeah well yeah, the motherfucker is massive yeah. that's a big man i remember the first time i met him I'm like well uh, if he does it wrong that's just what happened <laughs> what the fuck am i gonna do he's big he's got huge shoulders dude he's so athletic what the fuck yeah, that's just what happened. You got to shake that one yeah, off. Yeah, there's some guys that are like, hey, that's my sister. And you're like, hey, man. Hey, you man. know what I mean? I'm, I, I, <laughs> you're my brother now. I got your back. <laughs> I, I'd have been like, hey, man, what was she wearing? <laughs> that's very you funny. Like the yeah. Yeah. No. I love you guys. Uh, then we have another one, colored contacts. Absolutely. And and that's coming from somebody who used to wear them. Yeah, not, not a deal breaker for me. Oh, my God. It's so. It's tacky. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think what that's the thing where do? there's different for women and men. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. a man is wearing colored contacts, I could die. Yeah. That, that, I mean, it's I'm a like, choice. It's a choice. I can't. I are are you the Gotti brothers? <laughs> Why are you doing that? What, are you getting a fake tan too? Are, are you DMX and Nas? Is this belly? Why are you doing this? Yeah, that I mean, right over my head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I you know I appreciate you laughing even yeah, though. Of course. Because you were cute. You know the cadence. Yeah, you're a great potter. Um, and then um, Stefan Hightower. Eggs being the first thing you make me at breakfast. I mean, what the fuck else are we? <laughs> Stefan is a ridiculous man for that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? This th- th- bitch making eggs. I uh, mean, you can't make grits. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. A deal breaker? Yeah, <laughs> Stephon- like who made the eggs? And Stefan's like my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan is breaking up with bitches if they're not Guy Fieri. <laughs> bitch, you better be an iron chef. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Is that the all ones you that's got? All the that ones was I got. fun. All right. Then we'll do the soft launch ones, and then we'll get out of here because the Knicks playing five. Oh shit. All right. Uh, <laughs> another penis one. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Um. All right. Uh. Don't try to spoon. Don't try to spoon to mouth feed me on date one. That's fair. Spoon to mouth like feed you like here comes the train. Oh, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. spoon in bed. I'm like I don't no, know no, what no, the no. fuck spoon you're talking. Spoon to mouth feed you date one. That's date ambitious. one. Yeah, that's what a choice. If they don't, if they do, oh, if they do do that, yeah, that is that, a lot. That's a choice. Okay, we're, I thought, that, I thought they said if they don't. I'm like, what a weird thing to want at your first date. Yeah, uh, oh, my sister said smoking cigarettes. Samantha didn't tell me she smoked cigarettes until like a year and changed in, and it changed my opinion of her. But I'm trapped now because I love her. First, she smoked cigarettes. The last cigarette I smoked was November 2022. Yeah. <laughs> And and, and I, the one before that was June 2022. Or no, 2021. Whore. It was 2021, I think. Whore. And here's a good one. Um, deal breaker. This sounds stupid, but I will cut them off if they drive below the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> so, motherfucker, if you're not fast and furious, yeah. if family is not the most important thing to you. It's been a long day. <laughs> if it hasn't been a long day without <laughs> you, my friend, friend yeah. what are we doing? If you can't tell me all about it when you see me again, <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you're that's... not Paul walking over here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you don't die on a sharp corner. No. Well, that's staying in, but I'm sorry too I said soon, it. I went too, too soon. far. But no, yeah. Yeah. Um, Low key, one time my dad mentioned my ex, like my ex was driving. My dad asked my ex to drive one car and my dad was driving another car. I don't remember where we were going. Yeah. And then my dad's like, nah, he always drives that slow. <laughs> and I was like, that's my dad calling him a pussy. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I know that that's a real ick because I feel like whenever I drive with you, I do apologize before we get started just in case. I'm like, I know I'm kind of driving kind of slow because I'm just not an aggressive guy. No, I, you're driving at a normal thing. Yeah. You're not, I, a, a, hu- a bigger ick for me is the way that like guys like like, like their seat all the way back driving they're swerving through cars going way too fast on the fdr it's like what where why are you driving this quickly yeah yeah, yeah. like I, i'm not i i hate that because i'm like oh it's giving little dick energy yeah, yeah it's yeah. giving you're trying to make up for something yeah you're you think this is like manly and that i'm wet i'm like I, i'm fearing for my life yeah. i'm literally you mean times that i've been in a car with a dude. I'm like, can you slow the fuck down? Yeah. Like, I don't like it. Yeah. I'm like holding on to the thing. I'm, well, I'm like, why are... Can why? you slow down and turn down this music? Yeah. I can never understand what you're saying. 
Yeah, if you're if you're yeah. going over the speed limit, you're overcompensating. Yeah, you're overcompensating. And I gotta say too, I don't love a guy with a two door car. Yeah, I don't want to climb in the back seat. Yeah, I hate that. I don't want to. I know your dad has that. Oh yeah, but, but that's we don't your like dad. Him is, no, no, no. Your dad's of a certain <laughs> age. I'm talking about when I was like younger. Yeah, my dad's different. He's having a midlife crisis. <laughs> no, and it's also like your dad is grown and like yeah, it's not. He's it's, not. He doesn't have kids in the back. He's yeah, not, he's not giving everybody rides. I all just felt like never. guys when we were younger used to have that all the time, just to be like, you it's know. like motherfucker. You know, we fit in six people in this to yeah. get to the club. I'm like, why don't you get a two door Honda Civic? Get a fucking sedan. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? Then it's always like, dude's got a two-door Honda Civic. It was always a Honda Civic. Yeah. And then they would put like extra speakers in the back and you'd be sitting in the back and your fucking ears would be going crazy. And it's like, what is this? Who did this? Yeah, who who, who, yeah. who, yeah, who approved this? Who who fucking touched you while driving? Yeah. That made you this way. But we have a bunch more to go over, but honestly, we gotta it's go. 7.07. It's about to be 7 o'clock. Knicks are about to play a game. Five against the Philadelphia 76ers and hopefully close out the series and make it on to round two. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it here for episode 44 thank you guys so much please remember like comment subscribe to the podcast yes please yes go to patreon.com and uh, become a super softy $5 a month www.patreon.com slash soft launch also big shout out to Lily who is back today May 1st go to their uh, website uh, use promo code softies for 20% off all Lily products and big shout out to Dottie and her candles right here oh yeah, we gotta give her a big shout out you do this one baby because these um, are we ordered from Dottie Abode yes Right? And uh, we got this beautiful peony candle, and yes. it literally, I don't even want to burn it. Like, I got it, and I was like, I can't wait to have it. It's so beautiful. Yes. I don't want to burn it. But you guys get these on her website. This is her spring collection, and then her mug. Yes, her mug her candle. heart mug. So fucking cute. It has different colors. Get it. Beautiful. It's an amazing heart candle. From here, it looks like you're having tea, and the tea on this candle is that it's fucking amazing, it and is. you need to go buy one. And they smell incredible. Like, I have a tea sitting here. I worked here today, and it was a really nice thing to yes, smell. Yes, and we're about to burn one, and then we're going to burn some sage if the Knicks lose to get the evil spirits out, but we're not going to have to do that because we're going to win. Yes. So that's and it for this episode. Yes. And you guys are winners. We love you so much. We'll see you back here next week. Peace. Bye.